it's time to get some planning done. I'm really excited. I've created some new planning sheets that I think really just fit family childcare so much better. I feel like I'm always trying to fit my curriculum and my the children in my childcare into some kind of box, either it's preschool or infants or toddlers. When you have them all in your class, it's so hard to juggle. And there really isn't anything out there, even the boxed curriculum, but it's really expensive and it just puts you in a box. So no matter what you choose, whether it's just Pinterest, going online and finding activities you like and putting them down, or having an actual planning book like this I have, it doesn't really matter because I can put it all down here and it's just going to give me a record and a place to keep my ideas and my things organized that I can check through the week. So I've got my curriculum book here and this is going to be my guide. And this first sheet here, this is the one where I'm going to organize like the basics of my theme. I've got my dramatic play, my read aloud, a spot for all the things I can do in circle time. And then I can go right into this planning sheet where this is just an overview of all the subjects I want to cover. Just to make sure the kids are getting everything and just a nice well-rounded curriculum. And this is really great, especially if you're creating your own curriculum. And you can just make sure that you've got your literacy, your mathematics. I've got science and nature here. Put those right into those boxes and then anything else that I want to add. If we have a letter of a month we're working on or shape of the month, color of the month, that's where that's going to go. And then I have my supply list and this is where I will put down all the supplies that I'm going to need and need to gather up and the ones I'm going to need to buy and then the things that I'll need to prep to have all this ready to go. And then this is a tray play organizer. So tray play in my mind, this is all of the stuff that's kind of extra. It's on top of everything else that you're doing in your class. These are things that you can pull out pretty much any time. There are ideas in this book, so lots of things on Pinterest you can use. You have um, sensory or fine motor, those are good good places for the tray play. What I do is I put them on a tray so they're ready to go and it's pretty self-explanatory. It's usually stuff children are familiar with, just kind of reinvented. Sometimes it's even just toys from the room. So now we're going to look at the weekly planning sheets and this is kind of more of your activity planner and this will give me two weeks of planning organization. On here I've written the indoor environment and outdoor environment for both weeks because sometimes you like to change things up. So like for an example my indoor environment I've got some new puzzles I'm going to put out. In the outdoor environment, I'll have some water play with some fish nets and some squeezy fish. And then in the days, I keep it really simple because there's still a lot going on. I'm going to put just maybe two activities at the most, maybe three. One's going to be a group activity, like a group art, something that everybody can do together. And then the other one's going to be something that might involve movement or something you would do like in a small group, like a game. And those are the things that I'm going to be writing on my days, just so I have a guide and I don't forget that we were going to do this art project today. So day one, day two, and so forth. This goes all the way for 10 days. And then I've got a little spot for notes into the second week. I don't really title these the days of the week because the, we could start a new theme like right in the middle of the week or on a Tuesday. So it's just better for me to just say, hey, we've got like 10 days here. And then there's usually enough activities to go, you know, over into the second or third week. Oftentimes within a theme you want to do some type of special event. It might be a child's birthday that month. You could have a field trip you want to go on. For us with our beach and ocean theme we're going to have a beach party. So this day the children will just wear their swimming suits and I, we kind of throw the curriculum out the window. We've got our snack, a game, and a craft that we would do this day. Maybe we'll make a seashell necklace. You have your planning sheets all together. You've got your curriculum guide or your computer, or your laptop, or whatever you're going to go off of to put your um, ideas on your paper all in one spot. And I haven't lost any of those important notes that I wrote down earlier. So my teacher organizer, this is what it looks like. I've taken my planning sheets. So this is for my beach and ocean theme. What I'm going to do here is probably every theme, I'll just make a different one like this and share it with you guys. So make sure to subscribe so you're not missing these because these are really fun. And it just really is a great way to just be excited about planning. Lay it out like this in these sheet protectors and see everything at once. I thought it'd be really nice just to have it all in one spot. I put our activity sheets that it, and printables inside of these files with labels and I have 10 of them here. I will put our activity sheets that we'll be using for that day in here and then it's really easy for me that day to pull that paper right out and it's ready to go. All nice and organized and I want to give you a few more tips of how I keep it all together. I like to have these baskets. These are just dollar store baskets. There's really nothing to them but if I can keep all my tabletop activities that I've put together in this one and I know where everything's going to go ready to prep and then this one is going 
going to be my circle time basket. I've talked about these before in my other planning video, just going into a little more detail this time. So I've got my songs and I've got my, my puppets in there. And then these are really great because I don't have a whole ton of space to keep a lot of extra things, so I just like them to stack and put away like that. So now it's time to get everything organized and written in here. This is the fun part. I'm gonna gather my stuff up and I'm gonna go outside on the patio and write my ideas down. Where do you like to go activity plan? 